Terrorist groups are trying to enforce Sharia law in some parts of northern Burkina Faso. Just last December, over 5,000 Burkinabe citizens fled to Niger. If the jihadists catch you listening to the radio, even if it's just music, they'll beat you if it's not an Islamic sermon. Sometimes, if they believe you're doing something against their version of Islam, they'll kill you. For fear of being caught by a terrorist group, this man decided not to register as a refugee. On the day we arrived in Niger, the driver was warned not to hang around in the area. And we even crossed paths with the jihadists on Niger's side of the border. Back in February, a refugee camp from Malians was attacked in the Tahua region, leaving a deep impression on the community. The threat is becoming more pressing as jihadist groups tighten their grip on the border regions of Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali. The UN Refugee Agency wants to reassure everyone. We have what we call protection monitoring in these areas. We're able to gather information through partners on the ground so that these places are secure and that we can provide humanitarian aid. But it's a tough challenge to predict terrorist attacks across borders. The G5 Sahel initiative remains stagnant and Sahelian governments may have conflicting opinions and strategies. We need to work together with neighbouring countries because we can't contain terrorism by ourselves. We need to move beyond political aspects and we need to cooperate genuinely. This is the only way forward for the region. In Niger, the number of Burkinabe refugees may soon reach 30,000. Meanwhile, thousands of Malians continue to flee in the same direction.